All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Saturday, the 28th of December, 2019, getting closer and closer every day to this new year, getting closer and closer every day to the Saturn-Pluto conjunction happening at 22 degrees. All right, but first, we've got the moon moving into the sign of Aquarius, all right? And at the start of the day, around 6 a.m. here, Eastern Standard Time, uh, the moon in Aquarius is going to square Uranus and Taurus, okay? Again, Uranus is the great awakener, the aha, right? Aquarius is the water in the air that allows the electricity to flow. And Uranus is that electricity, that lightning striking, that great eureka moment, the aha, right? So when we have the square happening, what that is saying is our emotional moon, our nurturing moon, what it needs, our moon needs, all right? Our moon needs to be the connective tissue in this equation. Our moon needs to have a vision of the future in order to create something new from what something was, right? That's Uranus and Taurus. What something was, what something used to be. And now we get a chance to look. It's like, look at the automobile, you know? We didn't understand what we were making. We, we knew that we were moving away from using horses, right? We're moving away from using horses and we're, we're creating something new, a new technology, right? Aquarius is all about technology. Uranus is about technology. Uh, a new technology that's going to be better for transportation, uh, better for individuals, right? As well as the community at whole. But now when we take a step back and look at the automobiles and where we're at now, we've used more than half of the world's fossil fuels, which have created, you know, taken hundreds of millions of years to create. Um, you know, there's wars over oil, there's oil spills that are ruining our oceans. Like we didn't understand what we were creating at the time, but it was a solution during the time that it was created in whatever, 1880s or whatever it might be, um, right? So what we need to do <laughs> or what this energy is suggesting that we do is take a look at our our environment, taking a look at our lives. And, you know, it's like, okay, we have a giant, um, a, a giant field of mud, okay? And that mud is not usable to create a playground on. So what we need to do is, is lay down some grass, lay down some seeds, uh, and allow this time and energy to grow. We're gonna have to, you know, allow the sun to do its job. We're gonna have to allow the rain to do its job. We're gonna have to allow the clouds to cover, to, to create overcast, you know? And it's just a slow, patient turning that's going to allow this once mud pit to be a playground. And then we can now play soccer games and tag and touch football and all of the wonderful things that you can do in a park, right? So it's that nurturing aspect that we have to do and seeing a vision for the future in order to create that. Not just seeing what is, but what could potentially be, okay? Now, the other fun aspect that's going to be happening today, it's going to happen about 9 p.m., okay? When the moon gets a chance to meet up with Venus. And that's going to happen at the 10th degrees of Aquarius, okay? And again, Aquarius being about the community, about being the water in the air that allows the electricity to flow, the little, the little dot work, the inner, the inner works that we don't always see. We just see the effects of, but we don't see what it is that's creating that connection. You know, it's like casting something from your phone to your you know, Roku stick or your Fire Stick or your Chromecast or your Apple TV. Like, we don't see that connection. We just trust that I can play it on this device and it's gonna come over here, okay? And, and, and we, so, what this energy when the moon meets up with uh, um, Venus in Aquarius at around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so it's going to happen to my friends in, in L.A. around 6, and of course do the math of wherever you're at in the world as, as you're watching this. Um, it's about going inner, inward, okay? This is about going inward right now to allow these fruits to grow. So this is a beautiful time of meditation. Uh, again, a beautiful time of seeking what our hearts desire. Maybe not what's here in our hands at this moment, but what do we desire? If it is a relationship, you know, moon meeting up with Venus in the social sign of, of uh, you know, community Aquarius, this is a great time, a great day to, to meet individuals in, in, a, in a broader social circle, right? So and that's gonna happen the 28th and the 29th, the moon is gonna be in Aquarius, which is a really beautiful place for it to be over the weekend, right? It's a community, 
community driven. So again, it's just like, what are we seeking in our community? If we can look at our current relationships, our current friendships, our current businesses, where we're at, and then we can sink inside and say, well, what do I desire? What do I really need? What do I want to see come to fruition? With all this Capricorn energy that's going on right now, it's, it's almost easy to manifest things into this physical world. It's almost easy to bring things into clarity, into perfection, into manifestation. So what we need to do is, is check in with ourselves, check in with our hearts. We have our emotional moon meeting up with our love, wants, and desires, right? And in a place that where we can we can see again that vision for the future something that might not be here at the present but we can transform that to being the present as long as we are aligning with ourselves of what we truly want you know very 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 powerful i haven't even showed you the chart yet i'm just sitting here talking away i mean you know mars has been here mars is still working through the shadows still letting go of the past starting to create this trine which is an interesting aspect because it's not quite in fire sign to fire sign but it's enough to make this connection you know healing of the old into healing uh, our, our current of our present self okay the moon here at 6 a.m making that square over there to uranus all right and then we can fast forward a couple hours and we still see venus creating that septile very, very, very powerful connection to Chiron. Again, Chiron is the wounded healer. So of course that means what? That means the moon as well. Our nurturing moon is as well. Look at that. So between 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, you know, we have that beautiful connection happening. And both of them creating the septile to healing Chiron. Okay? So when we sink down inside of ourselves and really figure out what we want, who we want, what we need. We have this beautiful uh, healing experience and breakthrough, this visionary clarity that we're allowing to bring into manifestation over here. And the rewards, right? The transformative rewards of doing this deeper work, you know, again, doing the meditation, going to yoga, uh, putting ourselves outside of our comfort zone. Right? That's a huge aspect of this. You know, again, you know, this is where we're comfortable and this is where all the magic happens. You know, it's a hard analogy, but when we look at sometimes we can look at, at the homeless people, you know, and sometimes everybody's in a different situation. So I say this very loosely, you know, we're all there. Everybody's in different situations. But what I'm bringing to this this point is about being comfortable. You know, it's just like sometimes they're they're very comfortable in the side of the road, in a tent, in a, you know, it's just like the, 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 the comfort of, of the alcohol or the drugs that's, that's seemingly got a, a grasp on their lives. It, it's, it's hard to see outside of that comfort to realize that what's going on is actually not comfortable at all, right? I hope that analogy is coming out right and not being insensitive because that is not the point of what I'm saying. Um, you know, but it's just like, okay, if my goal is to not be here uh, on the side of the road in a tent and blankets begging, well, what do I need? I need to do something to change this. And that's the beauty of this connection that's happening right now, right? And then we can apply that to our lives, to our practice, to discipline on a daily basis and bring that into manifestation, right? <laughs> it's a hard analogy, but I, I think that came out all right. Um, so again, it's a beautiful day. As always, it's a beautiful Saturday night, being sociable, getting out there in the world, and aligning with what we want and bringing it into manifestation, bringing it into this physical realm. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. appreciate you. I love you. I wish you enough. And we'll see you tomorrow.